face today because I have an exciting one and I have a full face of makeup from Shop Missy and I didn't want to give you any spoilers on what the end result was going to be. So Shop Missy and an American brand, that, um, an American website that sell dollar makeup. Now some of their makeup is a wee bit more expensive than a dollar but most of it is a dollar or thereabouts. I think that works out to about 84 pence. I'll put it up there exactly how much it works out to be. Now I've made three orders since oh, let's say March or April with my first order. I've only been caught with um, customs or VAT once so that was the second order. So I think it's just your luck whether you get caught with that or not to be honest um, because my, my three orders were probably roughly about the same price. But without further ado, let's get into this video and I'll start putting the makeup on my face. At the end, I will also show you some products I picked up that I'm not planning on using today. So the first item that I picked up was um, in my latest order was a wee headband. Now, it isn't the best quality. It does have some kind of loose hairs, but I'll put the price above. I can't remember if this is a pound or not, but you can't really complain when it's so cheap, can you? Just another wee cute hair band for doing your makeup. So the next, I've got to put my glasses back on actually so that I can read. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Pawpaw Wonder Blender Sponge. I have already got one of these, but it's dirty, so I wanted to use a new one. And this says it's a latex-free high-definition cosmetic sponge, and part of the proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abu abuse, which I think is really quite nice. So it just comes in like a nice wee packet here. I'm going to open that up and I'll show you dry. So this is how it looks like dry. This one I picked is a kind of bright pink colour. It feels quite firm dry, but I'll go and wet it and I'll show you how it looks like when it's wet. <laughs> and a lot softer and I've just realised I've wet my sponge and I haven't even done primer yet. So for primer I picked up, I've actually got two different ones. So I've kept most of the things in a packet. So this one was part of a set with the setting spray. So this one is the primer spray. It says long lasting, fresh scent, lightweight. So you just spray it across your face. Paraben free, absorbs oils, minimises pores. So that, I'll open that up and let's see it. So this one looks like this, so it's wrapped up even inside. It's quite good packaging, I think, for such a cheap brand. So here it's here, I love the colour of the bottle, actually. Let me just see how the, the spray is. Well, that seems like a nice spray on it. I'll probably put that on. In fact, I'll give this a wee spray just now and then I'll go in with my other one. Yep. Nice smell, nice mister. It's, it's a priming spray. I never really notice um, here or there with those type of ones. So the next one I've got is the AOA Studio. So this is their own make, the AOA Studio stuff. So this one says a silky airy texture that leaves a smooth, even skin surface ready for foundation, extends the wear of makeup and minimises the appearance of pores. So I'm going to try this one. I'm hoping this blurs out some of my wrinkles that I'm starting to notice are getting worse and worse. So here's this one, just now a wee squeezy tube, you get, how many mils of product do you get in here? So you get 20 mils. So I'm just going to take a wee dot of this, dot it over my face. And then rub this in. Feels nice. Smells like a wee bit like sun cream. But that might be it mixing with that primer spray because I put the, the two on. I don't really, can't really tell what one's what. So I'll make sure I'm putting that under my eyes as well. Right. Has it noticed? Has it blurred pores? I don't know. I don't really know if you can ever really tell with this kind of thing. I'm just going to put my ring light on because I think it's getting quite dull. There. That's the ring light on. I think that colour's maybe a wee bit better. It's starting to get really, really dull outside. So the next step is foundation. I have got two different ones. I have got this one, two colours of this, and one colour of this. So the two different ones. So the ones in the tube with the black lid is the Buildable Satin Foundation. You get 19 mils in here. And this one says this A Plus Satin Foundation is a lightweight liquid 
formula that delivers adjustable coverage and a long lasting natural finish. One I have, I think this is the one that Taylor Wynn raves on about. Um, she loves one of these foundations and I can't remember what one it is. So this one is the Pro Longwear Foundation. Again, these are Aways online. So this one says full coverage, part of the proceeds protect animals for this one, but it doesn't give you any more claims on the back. So I don't know if this colour is going to be right for me, but we'll just I'll give it a wee go. I can always mix in one of the ones. I do want to try this one because I'm sure this is the one that Taylor Wynn loves and I really enjoy watching her and I trust her reviews. So it's quite hard to get out the bottle. You see here that I'm really having to, having to squeeze. It's quite thick. Okay, that colour is going to be a bit dark for me, but we'll just pop it on, see how it, how it looks. Pop some on and see how it goes. Oh, well, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, again, I'll, I'll pop the screen the, not the screen, the, um, the shade name on the screen just because I can't remember it off the top of my head. The shade range isn't amazing and it is really, really hard to judge online. Like my first order I did, I got one, it was actually orange. So that's got good coverage. My sponge is actually still probably too wet, but I'm just gonna get my other. Yeah, that's looking pretty good coverage on that. Now, I've got pretty decent skin. I don't really have any blemishes, but I do have a bit of melasma up the top and I have my Homer Simpson marks, as I call it, around my mouth. So, you can see on the lips, that's <laughs> totally blocked my lips out. This is pretty good coverage. The colour, I'm going to make that work. I hope you can see that, how that's just covering my melasma really well at the top. So this is the first time I've tried this foundation. I think I've tried the other one maybe once, but this is the first time putting this full coverage one on my face. And I think that's looking really quite good. It's looking not even really matte. A lot of full coverage foundations are really matte, but this isn't even looking too, too matte. I would say it's still got a kind of slight, I can't remember if it claims to be matte or, well, I'll, I'll put, put it up on the screen what it actually claims to be um, finish wise. Sticking, you can see that a wee bit to my kind of dry skin around here. I've really been neglecting my skin, which has been lazy. So that is how the foundation's looking. I think that's looking really quite nice. For £83 or however much this foundation is, I think, yeah, you don't get much in it. But I think that's looking really nice. I'm quite happy with that. I probably could go in a wee bit more up here where my melasma is, but you know what, I'm not even going to bother. So next step is concealer. So again, I have two colours in this concealer. I have the colours, let's see if I can actually read the colours on this one. So I have Porcelain and I have Fair Ivory. Now I'm going to take Porcelain, I'm going to just take a wee drop on the back of my hand. That's the only thing about the squeeze the tubes. I don't like how you have to squeeze them out and they don't have a dull fit. But I'm just going to pop a wee bit under my eyes and then a wee bit on my chin. I know it's and then just a wee tiny bit extra that's left on the centre of my forehead. And again, I'm going to go in with my sponge and blend this out. So that's the concealer. I find it quite hard to tell coverage for concealers because I'm not that dark under my eyes. I'm more just puffy. But I think it's got a nice finish. I mean, of course, with concealer, you can know more, don't you, after you've set it with powder and see how it plays with that. But that's how the concealer's looking. Blended super easily, like really, really easily. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is I've got a couple of these wee cream contour sticks. Now, I'm not the best at cream contour, but I wanted to 
to give it a go and to show you what they look like in this video. So these are the Awe Studio Fix Contour Sticks and I have the colours Sunkissed and the colour Nude. So I'll just swatch these for you. So this is the colour Sunkissed which is really dark. This is the colour Nude which is you'll be <laughs> I'm going to do I think is take a wee bit of the grey one and just use it very very sparingly to do a tiny bit of contour just like hardly anything and then I'm going to take my sponge and use that to blend that right away so the colour isn't actually colour isn't perfect but that blends in super easy so sorry I keep putting the mirror in the way in videos I'm sorry I don't realise I'm doing it so again blend this side out that's blending super easy I think if I had the right colour I'd really like that it's not picking up too much of the foundation underneath Actually, I think that's an okay colour for me, do you know? I might take a wee bit of that around my head. I actually got to take a wee bit of the lighter colour, warmer colour, and use that to kind of warm up a tiny bit, more like a, a bronze. Yeah, I quite like that. If <laughs> on that side yet you want more of this side that's far too high it's all right we'll bend it down very high contour i've got going on today i think those colors two colors mixed together are actually perfect i really like them i do i'm going to put a wee bit more around my head at this sun kiss colour honestly I've not even I got these maybe my first order and I've not even used them because when I swatched them I thought oh god those colours just aren't right um, I'm not going to be able to make them work but they blend super easy the colours are sheer enough that even though they look dark when they blend they kind of disappear into your skin but in the best the best way yeah, really like them. Actually, they've got they've got loads of different colours, so I really like them. I'm really surprised by that. So next, I have some powder. Again, I picked this up in my second order, I think, and I've just not used it yet. So this is the AOE Studio Perfect Setting Powder, and I have got this in the shade Soft Light. So I'm going to go in with this setting powder. It comes just like my standard sifter with the holes I'm going to put that some of that onto the lid then I'm going to take a brush to use I think I'll take this elf blush brush I'm just going to take that and press that under the eyes I think the setting powder is another one that's quite hard to judge like obviously you can tell if it's going cakey or not but other than that I think it's quite a hard thing to judge how good it is but it's a nice colour, soft light, it's not got a huge amount of colour to it. I'm going to take this huge big powder brush from my dress up set. I'm going to use that to press that in over the rest of my face, not taking too, too much. Just using whatever's left in the lid, paying attention to where I'm going to put my powder products here, in my nose, because I've got oil in my nose. That's the setting powder. I think it looks... Okay, I would say it has lightened my face maybe a tiny bit, but it does have a bit of a colour to it. It doesn't look dry, other than this kind of wee area around here, but that's just dry skin. I think that's really nice. That's super cheap as well. It's, it's not expensive at all. So that powder, really recommend that. I think that's really nice. It's a really nice powder. Face feels set. It doesn't feel dry. I like it what more can I say about it really it's a powder so next I'm going to go in with bronzer now the annoying thing about shop messy is a lot of the stuff does go out of stock 
and I couldn't get certain items. So this is the only bronzer I could get and I think it's officially a smooth definition press powder, healthy and natural skin tone in the shade. Medium, this isn't Shop Missy, this is by Malibu. Malibu Glitz, here's my cat. Say hello everybody. Hi. This wee one was unwell at the start of the week. He's feeling better now. Aren't you baby? Come on guys. Come on, come on. So, <laughs> as I was saying, this is a smooth definition press powder and it's by the brand called Malibu Glitz because I couldn't actually get a bronzer. So it's in kind of really cheap wee compacts, but it has got a mirror in it and that's the colour. I'm just going to use this as bronzer and see how we go on. Sometimes face powders actually work better for bronzer than actual bronzers. They tend to be blendable. Okay, that's pretty pigmented. I'll do it just to put a wee bit less on. That works as a bronzer. It does. I think that works really well as a bronzer. I think I would I would probably use that again. You know, I was I was doubting it <laughs> because it was just a face powder, but I think that looks really nice and I would definitely use that again now if I can actually get it shut. There we go. So that's that again. That's Malibu Glitz, the brand for that. And then now I think we're gonna go in with highlighter because I do like to do my highlighter and then my blush on top of that. So I've got lots of different options for highlighter here. So these ones are the Velour Mousse highlighters and these are kind of like what I imagine the Colourpop shadows to be like. They're kind of moussey texture. They're kind of creamy but they go on really nicely. So I have a few different shades of these to choose from. Then I have this one single one called the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. So that's more of that baked formula, more of a pinky colour. And then I have four of these. I've actually got five, but one of them is far too light to be a highlighter even me. So that's my pigment drawer. So these are the loose highlighters. So I don't know what, I want, what ones I want to use today. I think I'm making a cream ones because these are really unique kind of texture. And I think I want to show you how these go on. So I'm going to go in with this one in the shade For You. I believe this might have been the first one that I got. Um, I'm not sure but I'm going to go in with this brush which is actually from Shop Missy as well and it's a highlighter brush. The number on it is, I really should have put my contacts in, I really should have. So this is the AOA F19 brush. So I'm just going to pick some up on the, the brush and you wouldn't think this would go onto the brush but it does. I think you do need to dig in a little bit but you could use your fingers, probably use a sponge and I just think that's really pretty. I think I'll go in with my fingers. Normally I would leave it there but I just want to show you how it goes on with the fingers. See, hope you can see that the lighting. And then this side, I'm going to dig in, get some. You can see it better there. It's so pretty and it's such a lovely formula. It really is. It's not like anything else that I've got. A bit in my nose. Could put the bow up here, down the centre of the nose. There, see it's it's honestly it's gorgeous, such pretty highlights, and you can take it as far as you like with them. Right, I should maybe top it with one of these loose ones just to show you. Yeah, I'm going to just to show you what the loose ones are like. So I'm going to just take some of this. Now these are messy. This is why I don't use these very often. So I'm just going to take what was on the lids. And that one's way too dark for me actually. Have I just, have I just ruined it? it? Looks fine on this side, but it is leaving a bit of a cast, doesn't it? So here we go, I did try and fix it a little bit. I think that colour is slightly too dark for me, but from the side it looks 
super super pretty it's, it looks a lot lighter than it goes on i think that one but anyway of course there's got to be a feel <laughs> like you can't test all this makeup not if i feel but never mind on to the blusher so i have got a couple of different blushers here i've got two so i'm really trying to get into more glowy products glowy bronzers glowy blushers blushers that kind of thing so blush wise i have these two and again these are aoa studio make and these are the Lumi blushes. So hopefully I can make out the shades on this one a bit easier. So these are the shades Delicate Pink and I have the shades Rose Dawn. I think I'm going to go in with the shades Delicate Pink. It's a bit lighter. And I will take a blush brush. My favourite one. I really need to wash. The only one that I ever use is the Zoeva one off a lot of that just in case <laughs> and just oh that's pigmented and just use this to merge the bronzer and the highlighter in together and because it does have that glow it should do that really easily really pretty not too too pigmented on the face if you tap off the excess but it just gives that lovely glow to the cheeks it just ties it all in with the um, highlighter so I'm just going to go in, I think, with a wee tad of setting spray. So the setting spray came in a set with the primer spray. And this one just says long lasting, fresh scent, lightweight. I believe that's what the primer spray says as well, doesn't it? So I'm just going to use this just to do a wee coat of um, setting spray while I go into my makeup. So right, that's a wee bit more aggressive, I think, than the other one. But... Okay. Nice smell. I think it smells really similar to the other one. Can I dry it into my face quickly? It's a lovely mister on it. Some of these cheaper setting sprays really kill it with the misters are a lot better than the dearer ones. So that's the face done. So then we're going to go in the eyes. So I'm just going to take a bit of concealer that I used initially and just pop that onto my eyelids. just blended that in we'll use that for eye primer so again with eyeshadows i really struggled because a lot of the stuff was out of stock so i did already have a couple of the wee pigments from them so i thought pick up two wee nude palettes you always need kind of wee basic nudes and these would be really good for traveling if they're any good so i haven't swatched them or anything yet so we have two different ones and they are in the shades mattifying and my terrific. So these are by the band Ellie Colours. So the pigments that I've got is this kind of kind of taupey colour. I have a pink one and I have a green one which I'm dying to use. So I'm thinking maybe I could take the cooler toned one and pop some of the, the green pigment on the lids and see how that works. So it comes with one of these delightful wee applicators which actually i'm going to take and use that to set that concealer may as well use the wee applicator for something so this is just a cream kind of base color i'm not going to really be able to tell much about the pigment from this one so here are the, the four the four colors so that cream one i've just put on so i'm not going to swatch that so that's that first one. Well, that is quite dark. They feel quite soft. They feel almost kind of creamy. They're, they're kind of looking a bit different on the, the ring light than they are in real life. But those two colours look practically the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with one of the darkest colours. If I can find a clean brush, I should probably my brushes before this. I'm going to go in with the darkest which does look like it's got a wee bit of pigment and I'm going to start here and put this down and then up into my crease in a kind of round colour. Definitely does have a bit of pigment in this colour. Um, it's not the worst one. I don't think it's trying to be a black. It's just trying to be a kind of, a kind of greyish brown if that's a thing. 
I'm not going to talk to you too much about what I'm doing because this isn't a tutorial, it's just a, a first impressions of this wee palette. I haven't used this one before. I'm dying to get my hands on one of the bigger palettes. I think I'm going to do an order soon and get one of the other ones because it is a couple of things in stock that I want. And then I'm going to take a brush, I'll take this Jeffree Star one. And then these two colours honestly look identical. I think I might take this one up in the corner, cut that off. And I'm going to take a mix of the lightest one, no one mixed it, and just use that to blend up here. Let's see, so I'm not trying to make this look amazing, it's just to show you how they perform. But they do seem to be blending out okay. They're not. They're not the worst eyeshadows I think I've ever used in my life. I certainly wouldn't place an order in from America just to get them, but and they're, they're definitely not the worst. I'm going to maybe try some of this second darkest one and just use that to blend the darkest one. Sorry, I'm using the, the one brush. I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered spotting it and all my brushes are dirty. And I have realised that I have got a brush from the shop Missy. So this is the, um, let's see if this one's got a, a number on it. So this one is the E141. Got to use that with the lightest colour. I think I did light this brush. And I used it once with a blue. It was either my blueberry muffin or my Nikki blue look. Okay, that's... That's alright isn't it? Got to take a wee bit more of the darkest colour and just try and intensify that a wee bit more. I've lost a lot of that pigment when I was blending and I wasn't going to go for the halo eye but I think I probably will. It seems to have worked out like that. And then back through the colours to blend that out. So there we go. I'm just going to do this same on this side and then I'll come back and we'll do the fun part which is the glitter. So, so that's how the eyes are looking. Not my best blending that I've ever done in my life but it's not a tutorial so I don't really care. Um, the shadows are fine. They're, they're not bad. I'm not mad that I bought them. Will I pick them up and use them again? Probably not but I'm glad that I gave them a go. I'd be quite interested to see what their own brand ones are like but there we go so i'm going to go in with this gorgeous green glitter i did get this a wee while ago but i haven't used it on my face yet i've swatched it a couple of times and this is in the shade i'll put it up on the screen i've got to be having to put a lot of stuff on the screen in this and i made it in this so i'm just going to take a wee brush this is just one out the metro set I'm going to take a wee bit of the next glitter glue, put it on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to use the wee brush to apply that glue to the centre of my lid. And I'm just going to put some of that in my eye, that's not advisable. So I'm going to take the, the glitter, it doesn't have a sifter or anything on it, so that's one thing to be worn. I think I'm going to use my finger, I'm just going to tip some out into the lid, carefully. So a wee drop in the lid then use my finger to pick that up and pop that on oh that's a pretty colour just hate the packaging I wish it had a, a sifter in the top it would make it a lot easier and I'm hoping I don't get fall out I've got to take this all the way in actually that might be really pretty even going on obviously the inside I had eyeshadow and no glitter primer and it's even going on there really nicely that is an absolutely stunning color and you saw me putting that on that isn't even wet or anything like that and it still went on like that I really would like I think all the colors of those pigments I'll, I'll swatch you the other two in a wee second I'm just going to blend that darkest colour in it. 
Yeah, see that it's not wanting to blend over that glitter primer. But anyway, I'm just going to take a wee bit more of the pigment and just use that to blend into that darkest colour. There we go, I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and I'll be back in a second. So that's the pigment on both eyes. That is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. My only critique is that it doesn't have the sifter on the lid so it makes it a wee bit harder to do. But I'll just quickly show you, helps if I use a clean finger, this other colour. This one's a kind of goldy purpley pink that's really pretty as well. I managed to buy two of them so my, one of my sisters in -laws can get the other one. I'm not mad because it was so cheap. And then this is the other colour, a kind of browny, taupey. This one doesn't seem quite as nice. That one's by that one's by a different brand, I think. This one's by that brand, if <laughs> you can see it. I'll link it down below. I'll link everything down below. So that is that. I'm just going to quickly put some lower lash line on. And then we'll be back to do mascara and lashes and I'll show you what I've got for that. Okay, so that's it, the lower lash line done. It's really quite dark, quite smoky. I love this colour of green. I think it's really nice with my dark eyes. So then I have got a few different things. So I've got a liquid liner to try. So I'll do you what this is called. No, I wouldn't. So this one, I actually had to pick up a brown one because they didn't have any black ones in stock. So I don't want to use that with this look. I think I'd be better with a black. I have got a black liner. If I can find it. Oh, I've got two. No, I've not. One's a brow pencil. So I have got a black eyeliner. So this one is just the Super Bold eyeliner. Super Gel Intense in Black, and this is Santi. <laughs> Sorry, I got interrupted. So, as I was saying, this is the black liner, and it's just a standard kind of gel. It looks fairly black, so I'm just going to use this to do a wee fine line across my top before I stick my lashes on. It's broke off. I don't know if you can see that literally just broke off i would give this eyeliner a miss it's dragging on the skin it's not it's not doing very well at all um i'm just going to go and grab a liquid liner from my clutch and i'll be back in a second put a, a very thin line of liner across my lash line quite badly just like a normal liquid liner i don't know if you can see that but the eyeshadow is already starting to go a wee bit patchy but it doesn't really matter um, I, I definitely recommend a pigment but so next I have mascara and this one is by the brand Amuse and it's Pro Mega Big Lash Mascara in Black this looks like something but I can't remember what so this is what the brush looks like a nice big brush so I will give this I go now my lashes are awful so I'm not really not the best person to judge a mascara I usually just put falsies on but we'll see it's quite wet it's not doing much if I don't like it that much I'll test it on a day when I've not got the eyeshadow on and see how it's looking but I can't even curl my lashes because my eyes are so small I really struggle with eyelash curlers so it's definitely coating them. I'll see more once it dries and I can do a second coat. So bad. But we'll give it a wee second coat in a minute. But while, while I do that, I'll actually just remember that I've not put any lip gloss or lip oil lip balm on. So this is the AOA Studio Nourish Your Lips Lip Oil Oh Honey. And I believe this is in the strawberry flavour or scent. Hope it's flavour. <laughs> so this is how it comes. Just a, a wee really cute. I really like this packaging. I know it's kind of like kids makeup, but it's very cute. And it's in the wee roller ball and it's got a pot on that on. 
Oh, it smells nice. Right, the roller ball isn't rolling very well, but I'm assuming that's just because it's it's new. It needs to get going. Right, I cannot get this roller ball to work. Right, I don't know if it's just because it's new. It's stiff. But I'm getting some out. It's still really nice. Untinted. A little bit more can you really say about it? So go back in with a second coat. This video is going to be funny. I've been, I've been an absolute disaster today. Ah. Uh, oh. Ouch. Okay, so that one does hurt if you get it in your eyes. So do that. Right, on to lashes. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one to stick because it's still warm a bit. But we have loads and loads of different lashes. Some are about a dollar, some are more. This is one's only a dollar fifty six. So these ones are the three D full mink in the style hacker. Then I have another set of full mink ones in the style Tracy. And these ones are really pretty. These ones are oh Harper, they look different. I don't know if two pairs of the same Harper Harper. There you go. I'm gonna do it. These ones I really don't like. I tried them on once, they're too short, I think. They're in the shade Tara. And then I have a couple more styles from them. These ones are in the style Amelia. These ones are from a different brand, Cara. And they are in the style number two. And these ones are in the style Marilyn. I'm going to go in with the style Harper because they're kind of big and dramatic. They might look nice with this green. So I'll pop these on. I'll be back in a minute. So I have just went ahead and popped those lashes in the style Harper on. And they are, honestly, they're gorgeous lashes. I thought they were going to be too big for me, but they're really pretty. I've not stuck them on that well, but obviously we're not having a few disasters in this video. So there's the lashes, really fluffy, really full, really nice. I popped some black eyeliner on my waterline, not that one because it was rotten. And I filled in my brows with my favourite brow pencil ever. And it is this one, the micro, whatever it's called. I'll put it up on the screen. I can't read that without my glasses. I can't put my glasses on because my lashes. This is my favourite brow pencil. I've got a backup of this because I don't want to be without it. So that's that. So next then um, we go into lips and then after... Oh, I just remembered I did this mascara guard thing that I was going to try. I don't know. I'll try that next time. Um, next, so I'll go into lips. So I got a lipstick from them before, liquid lipstick, and I had to put it straight in the bin because it absolutely stank. It smelled so badly. So this is the... Um, Auto Lip Liner by L8 Colours. It is in the colour Nude's meant to be. It looks a, an awful strange colour, but try it on the lips and see how it looks. So just wipe off some of that lip oil. Oh, I don't like it. It's really sharp. Right, wait till I... Oh, I don't, I don't like this. It looks lighter on. Oh, I can't use that. That's terrible. Definitely do not recommend that. That's probably going in the bin. But lip option wise, I have this AOA lipstick. And I'll put the name up on the screen. I've got this. And then I have got a matte liquid lipstick again. I'll put the name up on the screen. So I think I'll try and go in with the matte one, even though my lips are quite dry. I don't know how it will look. Oh, it's really thick. Apologise, my phone keeps running out of battery. Um, not battery storage. So that's the lipstick on. I've applied it really, really badly. I know. It doesn't feel terrible on, actually. It doesn't feel sticky. Don't think it makes my lips look too dry. First impressions, I thought that was horrible, but, you know... It's not too bad. <laughs> Made a mess of my foundation and my lips. Certainly not the worst thing that I tried. So, final thoughts on everything. I think this doesn't look like a full face on me 
fact it's so sweet I think it looks really nice I think it looks lovely I think the only things that I hated was the eyeliner and the lip liner wherever it goes that can go straight in the bin everything else that pigment you'll need to go and buy the lashes are lovely they're really soft but as big as they are they don't feel too heavy I really like the brow pencil it's my favorite thing ever I've already got a backup the lip oil was a bit it might just be stiff the lipstick is actually really nice it's really comfortable when it's dried down the eyeshadows i wouldn't i wouldn't bother i, I know they're only cheap but i still wouldn't bother um the luminous blushes are nice all the highlighters are nice i have used them before the concealer the foundation primer set and spray i'll definitely give all them a go so i think i'll just now give you a few wee peeks at a few things that i didn't mention so i was meant to use these brushes today but i forgot so this is the AOA Shadow brush set. These came in a set too. I can't remember how much they are. I will put up on the screen how much they are and what set they are because I can't be bothered to put my glasses on and off again. They feel super soft. I love a wee brush like this for doing my concealer. So I'm glad to have them. Then I've had, had this for a while, used it before. It's the Scrub in Watermelon, I think it is. And it's really nice. It's a lovely lip scrub. I have a brush cleaner. I got one of these before, but it was the sponge cleaner so I can't open it so it doesn't have the scrubby bits but this one it's still got the plastic on it it's got scrubby bits I think that'll be quite nice to use I'm always looking for a, a better way to do my brushes I have the skinny lash mascara I've used this before it's, it's just all right it's nothing special now I also haven't tried that brown liquid liner so I'll need to give that a go at some point now these I was dead excited about because I've been looking for an orange eyeliner for ages and these were so cheap and I got all the different colours so we'll just do some wee swatches so that oh that's quite good so that's the orange then I've got oh sh see they, they do break quite easy maybe that's just me being heavy handed right I can't swatch oh no wait it's got sharpening no, odds wait how do you sharpen it well that's quite handy <laughs> I have ever used the, the lid sharpeners so there's the blue sorry if I'm talking quite fast I'm just scared of my phone so I can see it's full again then I've got the green okay that's a really kind of unique colour of green then I've got the purple there I'm doing this with my, my left hand because my right my left hand dirty so I can't swatch on it so it's more difficult <laughs> the yellow these seem quite pigmented I'm looking forward to giving these a go and then we've got the kind of pinky lilac oh that one's super pigmented I've just recently bought the makeup obsession collab ones can't remember who they were collaborating with so I'm actually going to be quite interested to see how these compare to them because obviously they were a lot dearer and these were only like a dollar each so that's super good so there we have it so once again the finished look you all need to get that pigment if you're in america then obviously it's a lot easier i think waiting time i was it was quite a while for my first order because it was locked down but my second order i'm sure it only took two or three weeks to come i'll link it my my third one just came so i will put that down below or up on the screen how long it took because I know what day it came this week and if you hold on a second I just want to show you how it's packed so it is packed on a kind of outer bag with all the the information but this is what's inside the bag and it's really everything's just crammed in there and it's really really well protected so I was quite impressed because my first order was quite small and it just came in like a padded kind of envelope but when it came in this I was I was super impressed by that so they do package it really really well so there we have it there's the finished look my hair is an absolute state so let me know if you like it if you're planning on doing any shop messy orders if you're in America and you can get this stuff a lot easier and you like it tell me what your favorite products are and if you liked this video and you're excited to see what other content I'm going to be bringing, then please do subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.